I was dead. <laughs> yeah. I died. Did yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah. Officially. Yeah. Officially, yeah. Clinically dead. Goodness me. Yeah. How did you know what to do? Uh, well, I have had some sort of training in the past mm. uh, on some CPR and everything, but as you can see from the video, really, uh, I didn't expect it. I thought he was mucking around, to be honest, because mm. as I say, we normally film our training sessions. And, That's what uh, was going. The iPhone was yeah, recording yeah, your your yeah. sparring session, wasn't exactly. it? Exactly. If you've never had the training, should you still do it on someone? Yeah, Try. absolutely. The very worst thing you can do is nothing. Right. Okay. Anything is better than nothing. As Mark said, he was dead. So you're not going to make that situation any worse at all. Mm. And actually, when you dial 999 these days, the, uh, the operator at the other end, the emergency service operator, will help, help you and coach you through it. You shake them to see if they respond. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? There's no response. Shout for help. Help. Get somebody to dial 999 or do it yourself and start doing CPR, which are 30 chest compressions. And you have to press hard and fast in the center of the chest with your weight right over. If you're able to do the rescue breaths, tilt the neck back, hold on to the nose, cover the whole of their mouth with yours. <sighs> Two breaths and then back to 30 compressions. Keep doing that. It is hard work. You need to move the chest about four to six centimeters. Shake him up if he's not responding. Remember, 30 by 2 principle. Lie him down at the center of the chest, hard and fast, back to back, 30 compressions. After this, tilt the head back, hold the nose, forget not to lock your lips, two deep breaths, repeat the cycle till the doctor comes. Sometimes the worst thing you can do is to do nothing. Do something, lock your lips, save a life.